Okay, so we're getting ready to, uh, to go here. We've got the, uh, the pigment mix, uh, just the paint without the glue. Uh, we're heating it in a crock pot and we'd like to work at about 100 degrees because that's going to be the gelling temperature for this liquid hydro. So we're monitoring the temperature uh, using an infrared thermometer. Uh, we're right up at about 105, 106 right now. And so we're going to add the glue to the mix. So this has to be fairly mixed. And what you're going to see happening here is that this mix uh, is going to go from this uh, rather thick uh, pudding consistency to something more like uh, what you see with, with regular paints. It's got to be really mixed in thoroughly to get to that point. Good. Now I'm going to be using a traditional distemper brush to apply this paint with, and you can see it looks a little different than a uh, modern paintbrush. Uh, this is called a two-knot brush, and traditionally brushes were round rather than flat. So if you wanted a wider brush, you just have more of these round sections of bristles. So this is a traditional uh, distemper brush. So we're getting ready for the application here, and uh, what we're going to do is apply it to the surface with a roller and then brush it out and this will give us a nice even uh, application but the brushing will give us the right texture and quality to it when we get done. Although we are using liquid high glue rather than hot high glue. And it's a little bit more forgiving than the hot high glue. Hot high glue, you got to keep that up to about 140 degrees or else it'll gel on you. So we're using a very pure form of liquid high glue. We've had good results with it so far. We've, we've left a little area up here that has the original painted surface on it. And that's sort of a record of the original paint. And also will serve for comparative purposes just in terms of what our mix looks like versus what the original paint looks like. So it's that little blue square up there. Blue. No, it's, it's a little gray square. So we'll pull that tape off when we get done, and that will be our little record area. And of course, we also have samples that we're taking in the process of doing the, uh, the, the analysis of, of the paint. 